beliefs. She said, but here we don't have the same emphasis on blood. We actually believe you're not supposed to shed blood. And that the people who do a lot of the animal slaughters are bringing a curse on themselves from our cultural perspective. That's what she's saying. Okay. She says, for us, the connection is to herbs. And that instead of having a sacrifice, it'll be a certain herb that represents a certain spirit or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is your views on the role of blood in African spirituality and its, and its um, variations? My, my view on blood, and I know this is a touchy subject for many people, right? Uh, so animal sacrifices. Yes. The reason why is blood moves us all, right? Uh -huh. We all have blood in our bodies. We all arteries integral veins, different things that make our heart go, you know? <laughs> Without blood, we're done, right? So blood to the African tradition is the highest concentration of energy you can have. Mm -hmm. So when you are interacting with certain other energies, it's an energy exchange, because nothing is free in life, right? right? So there has to be some type of exchange to get whatever you want to happen to happen. Just like if you want to buy a book in here, you can't come up here and be like, hey, brother, I'm good for it. Uh, I'll see you next week. <laughs> you, know? you sure will see me next week with the yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> book. yeah, you're going to see me. I'm going to pop up at your house. <laughs> so, so that energy exchange has to happen, right? So we use the highest concentrated energy for that exchange. So that is the tradition, and that is the reason why animals are used as sacrifice. Uh, I do know that some places don't do it. Not a universal concept throughout Africa. Most places Most, you'll yeah. see it, but you will find these pocket places they'll be like, no, nah, we do it this way. And the reason she said herbs, there's nothing you do in African spirituality without herbs. Right. Like, the medicine. that's what it is. Herbs are the medicine. We were medicine. just looking at something today where they say over 7,000 compounds of medicine are taken from Africa and put into our medical system. Right. So yeah. cool. the herbs heal you. Right, so I don't have a problem with her saying that, but in West African tradition, they use both. They use herbs, they use energy, they use everything in kind of a compounded solution for your problem. Many uh, what people call sacrifices or a ba come with herbs after, uh, called akoshe. So akoshe usually is coming with your energy exchange. <clears throat> so West Africans they tend to do both as well as Central Africans tend to do both. But we're not here to judge other traditions, right? right. If they can't get with it, that's fine. Right. But being that she's from Southern Africa, I wish she'd go talk to some of them Sangomas. Because <laughs> <laughs> them Sangomas are some bloody priests, boy. Right. They get it in. But we, can, we all have to stay within our culture, right, and our traditions. So right. we don't want to become white people and start judging other people's traditions right. and tell them you can't do that because I said so right. and we're going to wipe you out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Can I have a follow-up question? Go ahead. No, Go ahead. No, no. I wanna, let me say something. That's the oldest tradition on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. It's blood and sacrifice. Right. Right. It is with it, the Vikings, European, yeah. Yeah, the Hebrews. You can go to the book of Exodus where Moses takes a, what? A bison, yeah. splits the throat, mm -hmm. fills up the basin, and he sprinkles it on the people. Right. I, I'm just giving you a visual, right? That was the Christians was the one scared a little bit. They say Jesus did what? Saved the dog. Died. He said it was a blood sacrifice. It was a ritual sacrifice. So you find us in all traditions, all customs. They just played a joke on you and make you crazy when black people was doing. It. But that's the oldest thing. The Mayans. I mean, we could really play the game. We could just, the Aztecs, we could go down Chinese, the whole thing. We don't want people savages. Egyptians, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we the savages. When, when we do it, we the savages. But it's, not, it's in the book of Exodus. It's that Jesus Christ is the what? But he's a willing sacrifice. Well, the Vikings did the same thing. You can go to the Nubian graves, right? Right? And you'll find that people died with their king. Oh, that's savage. Wait a minute. How do you know? They wanted to go. The Japanese. <laughs> what did the Japanese do? Hide carry. They, they stop the wind, the, the hard carry, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then they get on the planes, make sure the wings can't go down, right? Sacrifice for their people. I just want to add, uh, add to that, since we add, um, that if you go back into the ancient times of humanity, mm -hmm. um, the earliest human beings, what they observed was that out of all the body fluids out of the human body, if urine leaves the body, they notice that the person still lives. If saliva leaves the body or sweat leaves the body, the person still lives. 
But all of a sudden, if that red substance <laughs> leaves the body, the person dies. Yeah. So blood became a symbol of life. And so blood is used as a contract, as a, as a uh, sealing of a, of a covenant. Mm -hmm. And so the word blood in a lot of African languages also means uh, oath, to take an oath. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these African traditions, when you have a contract, a social contract uh, with the spirit world or with other people, they sign it in blood because of that. So, you know, people uh, cut themselves, shake their hands or sign things. So blood became important as far as um, it was the highest form of an agreement. Because if you do not follow what we agreed to, you're going to die. So that's so that was the that, you know, that's how it trickled down. And even in the Bible, you have covenants that are based on blood. You have sacrifice, animal, animals, uh, circumcision. Um, like you said, Jesus is the blood, you know, the blood of Christ and so on. So anyway, I just wanted to add that. Right. That's correct. Absolutely. So, you still got to you know, follow up? If you, if you, if you want to get serious about communicating ancestral veneration, communicating with, you know, your personal deity, ain't no serious way to do it. <laughs> That's just how African think. That's our tradition. That's our culture. You had a follow-up? I think we should wait to happen. Okay. Yeah. So nobody else, I'm going to bring up the God.